Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have a dish of leftover paints that is gorgeous. And it was a little bit, I left the cap off and came back and found it was a little congealed. So I did another painting and added more paint to it. And this is a 10 by 20 canvas. And my idea is to have a wet layer of paint, but it's very warm out here today. There are my glasses. Where? Wait. <laughs> there are my glasses. Could have sworn they were on my head. All right. And I don't usually try and make black paint work on a white canvas in one layer, but I'm just going to use it as a layer to facilitate the movement of this other paint. And rather than do what I've been doing and dribble the paint off of an edge catcher, I'm just going to dribble it freely out of the dish, the saucer that it's in. And after that, I will tip or put chain in, or use a piece of acetate, or use my basting brush, or blow around with a straw. Whatever it is, it's probably coming. I might even put a little more iridescent color, or color shifting color from folk art, or wherever I've got it. I've got a lot of iridescence and a lot of color shifts, and when colors are not color shifting or iridescent and I want them to be I add goldens iridescent pearl fine it's with the rest of the fluid acrylics in for golden and it's um it's a four ounce size when you get it in Michaels or two ounce size on my Amazon link under show more under the video and uh, it can change almost anything into a very shimmery yeah I'm fussing into a shim shimmery version of itself and I'm going to throw that in the bucket so I don't have to worry about it and this is sort of akin to a shovel pour. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to... Just going to start. Now, I could use it as potential landmass if I was confident that I could get away with it. I'm not sure how long that paint's going to last. I am going to put, I mean, that is just totally gorgeous. And I am going to put a bunch of, well, I was, <laughs> more paint in there. And I think I still will put a little more paint in there. I've been thinking about shovel pours lately anyway, because people have been watching my playlists, my created playlists have... Uh, genres on them and all kinds of really cool stuff in there. The one thing I didn't have when I did the artworks that used these colors was some orange and I'm really tempted to see what I if I would like that. There may be a few lumps in here so it's a good thing I have some tweezers. Also available under show more on my Amazon link. The first link down there has uh, art supplies. And I realize right now that I don't have an edge catcher but I know right behind me I have a ton of them. So I'm thinking Just randomly add some stuff that I like. Don't go overboard. Some of that I could probably put a chain in there. It's really tempting to try too. And I don't have any red in there and I had some red in my last painting and I liked it a lot. So I'm going to try that red and then I'm going to try this orange. Well, I would if it were open, but being that it's finally summertime temperatures and the orange is notorious for clogging on me anyway, I'm going to clean that out right now. I wish I could just reach in there with my tweezers and pull that little plug out. Oh, look, I got it. Ha! That's amazing. That won't happen twice. Although, I wouldn't put it past me to try it, so let's just play fast and loose with some paint. And do nothing in particular other than not worry about what's going where yet. And it's definitely not done. <laughs> Lots of times I'll say it is. So let's start by Let's loop some chain around. I'm 
pull some more. Now I said I warned you there was glop, so maybe if I find glop, I can turn, I can pull glop over the side. I do use GAC 800 in all of my paint colors, which means that when I have a nice puddle like that, I don't necessarily have to worry about it. And at this point, anything that shows itself as glop is going to get removed anyway. I have to clean my chain off, I see that. But I am having a good time, and I think I'll just drop that into a little dish of water. So I won't have to worry about it setting up. I use um, rubbing alcohol. This one I just want to play with. Maybe get rid of that extra, extra canvas on the side, showing on the edge. Just going this way and that. What am I going to do with these? I still haven't tipped, and very seldom do I ever use chain. That's going in that thing too. Um, and then tip, but I think this might be one of those times. Ooh, this is the thinner version that I got on my own Amazon link. I can always cover the edges tomorrow, but I may cover them when I tip. Now, if I go in a round in a circle, everything within that circle becomes fodder for the chain pull. And if I leave color on my chain, that becomes useful to the next color I dip into. This is kind of fun. I'm having fun. hope you're having fun. Just very abstract fun. Notice the colors that I'm picking up, where I can pull them to. I still want to maintain some of the colors that I've got. I love that that orange generally doesn't get lost completely, which is a miracle, considering how much dark stuff there is here. So this is just kind of fun, and I'm having a ball. What else do I want? I've got my other colors, and so far I don't really feel the need to uh, actually use them yet. And I may stop and change my mind about tipping, but I haven't given it up yet. I do love swinging these around and making circles. I think they're wonderful. Like in circles and then lift. See if I can use my residuals in that white and get something neat. And anytime you agitate paint, you generally will get cells, so... Constantly experimenting with to, to see how far I can abstract my chain pulls to make them interesting can also alternatively drag things without looping them and still create interesting lines although that one looks like it wants to be pulled to me yes this is bothering me a little bit up here maybe a little something something just like that will be fine It's a little difficult because when you get to the end of whatever you're swirling around, you wind up with a, a ball of wet paint in the center. I do like to lead it over to the edge and let it relax over. I kind of like the white. I, I sort of wish I had more, but since I'm still thinking about tilting, 
which will probably destroy. You know, I don't know what will happen when I tilt, but the chances are good. It may very well destroy most of the marks in the from the chain, and I don't know that I want to do that. I love that the wet paint, the, the black paint is staying wet, because that means that I can do stuff. Now, I've got some Sergeant's Pearl, and I want to try it. And see, well, I'd have to actually do something with it first. There we go. You have to not leave any chain looped up. You have to surround it and pull it. I'm just going to push that right over the edge right now. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link under Show More. So I'm going to keep putting my chains in the water till I run out, and I've got a bunch. I'm going to try and make a really small circle right in the center and lift up. And then because it's nice to to share ideas. Well, wait a minute. I want some of that right there. I usually make flowers instead of abstract designs when I do this, but I kind of think I can do both. We'll see. And I refuse, adamantly refuse, to completely cut myself off from the wet paint that's on my chain. Because I really love what it does when I'm combining colors. I think if I tip, I'm going to lose most of the very cool stuff, like, i.e., the negative space in the background that I have. So I'm strongly changing contemplating changing my mind about that. But that might also mean that I need to have some other negative space, like... I'm just going to use that pearl until I figure out whether I like it or not. I've got one chain left, and then I'll have to move on to a larger chain. Definitely some things that make me want to uh, still tilt. But I am afraid that whatever I like will go. In the meantime, I could just add some more colors. It doesn't have to be much. Whoa, I almost dropped that. Great. That's what I get. I'm not left-handed, and I'm trying to be left-handed. That's a little better than it was, I guess. <laughs> that blue is going to be very, very metallic tomorrow. Throw a few more, more circles in there. I wish I could get whiter circles. Maybe I should use some actual white. I think this is enamel, actually. So where shall I put a circle? Let's have... Oh, gosh, there's so many nice places I don't want to don't mess with. All right, so I've got some other paint on my chain. And that is instantly all about the cells. So I'll try it again. If I want to do something with that, I'm going to have to bring it up the other end. Go move in a different direction. Boy, that just that just stayed in a big ball and didn't do very much for me that I liked. But I, I do like having more of the white in there, and I think I could handle a little more gold. And I can tell I've got very little time left, and this time I'm going to wipe off my chain, because I'm out of chain without giving it a rinse. I 
I will have my edges to do. I do have a few strange anomalous marks. I did just annihilate that little piece of uh, magenta that I liked. I said I wanted more gold and then I didn't put any more in there. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery Brewing. I'm not sure if this is a, is a success or not, but um, it was kind of fun playing with you guys and I like a lot of things about it. And I've got two minutes to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. If you'd like to see me stay on YouTube, it's important that you uh, know that watching the video longer is the only thing that tells the YouTube algorithm that it might want to support my my watchers by keeping me here or putting me in places where more people can find me. If I go much further I'm not going to have any negative space left and I know this looks really dark but the truth about that is is it's going to be mostly metallic. And I really want something else right there. And I love you guys. There's almost 86,000 of you. And uh, if you share my videos and you like my videos with your thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And thank you for the wonderful comments you leave me. Thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. And uh, there's always or so far so good, check the end screens of the video for an exhibition video that will share with you what this month's prizes are in the drawing, where if you're a $10 contributor to keep the studio rolling, you'll get, and you email me, yeah, well actually PayPal or Patreon will email me, so you don't have to, <laughs> but um, when I email you, if you want to give me back a phone number, then I will make sure if you are the winner, I will call you and let you know that. I could play with this for a while longer. I really like what I've got. I think I said that. It needs a little more white in a couple more places. And the paint is getting so heavy that it's really not showing up as much as I'd like it to. I'm going to surround that one more time and pull it in the opposite direction. I didn't keep much of my uh, original paint. I just found a big glop, and I think I'm going to pull that out with a pair of tweezers. Well, I thought it was anyway. Maybe this is that moment that somebody was suggesting to me to use a pipette. I think that will relax. Floetrol will often um, level the paint out. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, inviting you to check out Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for anybody looking for what I've been posting on Fine Art America since 2013, or Pixels.com, same thing. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors is where you might be able to find out the price of an artwork if it's been edited in the albums. I think I got this to fix and then hopefully I can call this done. I'm not sure <laughs> if it's the beginning or the middle or the end of something. It's definitely tumultuous. Maybe that's what I'll call it. Tumult. It could have some dots tomorrow. We could have all kinds of stuff tomorrow. I love you guys. Keep an eye out for my playlist. There's 1,200 videos on creative playlists, and you can find tomorrow's video on my YouTube channel, on the community board, or on Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. Pretty sure you're gone.